What is up, guys? My name is Edward. I am sorry. That is off. There we go. Anyway, what is up, guys? My name is Edward. I'm back from the video. And FNAF 4 is out. Because good guys call Call and says, you know what? I've never been going through these states, and I'm not good with them still. So, you know what? Here's the full game. Sorry, there's something on the camera. Um, um, I know I'm kind of late to this, but uh, you see, I was in Lexington camping, and I couldn't record videos. So, yeah. Here I am now. Um... My thoughts on the game, because I have seen gameplay footage of it, especially Markiplier, because, you know, Markiplier, he's the self-proclaimed king of Five Nights at Freddy's, which I think he really deserves. Um, and let me just say, the game looks really interesting. There are a lot of people saying that because of that little Easter egg where if you hover your mouse over the, I don't know what I'm doing, all this stuff, over the screen in the mini games, uh, the TV screen, um... They'll say, Fazbear and Friends 1983, that the location we see is not actually the Bite of 87 at all. And, um, that it's, um, in a different location than what we originally expected. Um, and that people are saying that the kid dies from the bite. Um, but let me just say something. Um, I have a few theories, uh, well, pretty much facts that would pretty much disprove that the kid died, um, because, I mean, yeah, it looks like he died, he stopped moving after he had his head bitten, um, but, there are a few things wrong with this theory, two of them, namely, um, for one, if a human head, the frontal lobe, was bitten off, don't you think they would stop moving because the frontal lobe was off and they can't think correctly? Yeah, think about that, and, um, also, um, you know how the animatronics have, um, a separate set of teeth inside for their endoskeleton teeth? Yeah. Um, the kid's head was clearly far enough in to reach that set of teeth. So, maybe that was... So, maybe that was, in fact, the bite of 87. And... Um... What was I gonna say? Yeah. And that... Um... Uh, I don't know why I can't talk today. Um, and, um, it was the endoskeleton teeth that bit off the kid's head. And, of course, we all know the animatronic was Fredbear by now. Um, and, why Fredbear has a purple hat and bow tie, I will never know. But, uh, I mean, it's pretty safe to say that Fredbear is Golden Freddy. Um, except I don't know why Golden Freddy's hat and bow tie are black instead of purple. Um, I think it's pretty much already confirmed at this point that the purple guy is phone guy. Because, you know, seeing him instructing people how to put on a suit. Not to mention in the kid's room, you see a toy phone. Like, you know, the toy phones on wheels or whatever have a face. And there's the purple guy robot. It's also worth mentioning that there's a purple fan for some reason. Um, I still don't know why the purple fan is there and why it's not working. But, you know, it's whatever Scott wanted to do. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much confirmed at this point that Phone Guy is Purple Guy. Um, I mean, Phone Guy was the one who instructed people how to put on the suits because, as we remember in FNAF 3, there was all of the phone calls during the nights that said, and uh, explained how to get in the suits. And, um, well, really one or two did, and the rest of them were just like, due to safety precautions, we're closing it down and whatnot. But, um, I need to take back a sec. Um, but anyway... There you go. Um, but anyway, yeah, FNAF 4 is out. I'm greatly excited for it. I, I really want to start playing it soon. I really want to start playing some FNAF games for you guys, but, you know, can't record my phone screen because it turns out something like this. Yeah, I can't do that. Um, but I am on Game Bros when they come back. Because um, Game Bros is probably going to be summer vacation right now because school is not in. Um, but when Game Bros starts up, back, starts up again, I will... Um, do some FNAF bids on there. Um, my name on the channel there is Mangle, FYI. Um, this Mangle's my favorite animatronic. Well, to be honest, Mangle is my second animat favorite animatronic. My favorite animatronic is uh, the original Fred, Freddy um, from the first game. Why am I playing with all this stuff? Um, but, you know, my channel on there is my name on the channel on there is Mangle. You should definitely check him out. I'll probably leave a description to, the, to uh, our vids there and uh, uh, to our channel there in the description below. And, um, don't, uh, go, go sub to them because they're awesome people. Uh, I'm, I'm there, but you don't, don't just sub because I'm there if you plan on subbing to them at all. Um, 
do you plan on something to them? Don't sub just because I'm there if you want to sub to me. Like, if you want to sub to me, that's great. Go ahead and, yeah, don't forget to like the video, subscribe and everything. But if you're going to sub to me, I say just go sub to them as well because they we do a lot of funny videos on there. Um, there's actually this reaction video that me and one of the channel guys did that I wasn't able to upload because school because school ended before I could finish editing it. So it'll probably be up when we come back. Um, it's, um, anyway, yeah, so, that's it for this video, guys, I guess I'll see you in the next video, don't forget to like my channel, subscribe, if you want to see more FNAF stuff, if you want to see Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, there's a lot of stuff on here, um, and subscribe to, subscribe to Game Bros, check out their videos, their videos are awesome, and check out my FNAF, uh, FNAF 4 theory on the script, uh, down, um, uh, somewhere on my channel, it's about how basically the Bite of 87 could not happen in the FNAF 2 location, which by the fourth game is pretty much confirmed. So, um, anyway, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.